one handy here. Uh, I happen to have this uh, set up here for showing the uh, uh, RF Mini uh, motor from Airy on the Venice uh, for another blog. But I thought, uh, because I have all this gear together, I would do a quick blog on how to configure uh, the, 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 so the whole Airy wireless solution sort of work together. Uh, there's multiple controllers for the, the, the motors from Airy. Uh, including the um, Master Grips, the new Master Grips, which are fantastic for local control. Uh, of course, the WCU for three-channel remote control, uh, and the SXU for a one-channel remote control, right? So I have a bunch of different controllers, and they can all actually work together. Uh, this setup that I have here, I have three C-Force Mini motors. The first is the C-Force RF motor, which is basically the heart of the system here for remote control. Um, you don't need that motor, of course, uh, to do other th to do uh, local control with the uh, with the um, uh, with the, 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 the master grips. But if you have uh, a, an AMC uh, controller box or a UMC controller box or that RF motor, you can also add wireless in, which is uh, great. So uh, that's all here. It's all configured. I'm lo locally controlled right now. I'm not. I, these are both off. I basically just plugged in my um, master grips at the end of the line in the L bus chain. So over, 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 and here's the, the last guy. And on each of these, there's a little OLED screen. You hold it, set the axis that you want. I set this one to zoom, so you can see, and I calibrated it. I set this one to focus, and I calibrated it. So they're all set up and, and, and configured. Uh, and I also, before this, went ahead, just for full disclosure, I went ahead and mapped in this lens via the WCU. So this actually knows where I'm at in space, which is fantastic. So uh, they're both in there and working. Great local control, straightforward. Now let's add in the WCU for wireless control. My iris, for instance, has nothing controlling it right now. So let's turn that on. And, and now I, I'll let you know I didn't actually change much on the WCU here. Um, I, I set it up, I configured it ahead of time, and all channels are on. And you heard it kind of move when I turned it on there. And that's because basically as soon as I've turned this on and it's set to control all, it sort of takes over. See, I'm fully controlling that uh, setup now, which is uh, great. But, uh, you know, if you don't want that, that's not great, right? So if you want it to control, if you want to have local control and remote control, you can do that. And how you do it is you go in the menus here. Right? You go in the menu and you go down to control setup. Go with select, and then you say, I want to turn off one of these features. Let's say I want local focus control, right? So I'll go to, I'll go to knob there and change it to off and go back. So hand grip's controlling that, but I still have iris and zoom uh, remote, which is great. So now I have two units working together, operator doing focus, remote guy pulling iris and, and zoom in this case. Great. Um, no problem. If you wanted to also, uh, turn on. If you wanted to move zoom over here, do the same basic thing. Go to the stick menu and change it to the off position. Great. Home. Now I have this guy controlling zoom again. Iris only on this. Okay. So now two units working together. Uh, these all three are working together in a way. Hand grip, hand grip, WCU. So fantastic. That works for the master grips in this. What if you wanted to do the SXU for a secondary channel? Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, in this case, I want to move focus over to this guy, right? Focus is turned off here, uh, but it's still turned on here. And the sort of order of precedence in the Airy world right now seems to be WCU4 takes over everything. It's the top dog. If it's on, it overrides. Secondary is the grips locally controlling. And then the third is SXU. Basically, if this is on and set to the focus, it's going to override this. So for now, I could turn it off, of course, but I'm just going to unplug it. So I'm not using it for focus. And now I have no, no focus anywhere, right? So I'll turn on this guy. And I've already set it up to be on the right channel and set to the focus uh, on there. Turn it on. Give it a second. And now focus. So focus here. Uh, focus here. Uh, zoom here. And iris here. And the other great thing about this, in my opinion, is you still look on the WCU, it knows where the lens is regardless, right, because of the RF motor there. Regardless of the fact that I'm setting focus uh, here, it actually can actually is controlling it and seeing it and showing it on the display for both anyway. Really great. So all three working together. I got a master grip. I got a focus control. I got an iris control. Uh, this is sort of the universe of Airy Wireless, and it's all here. So uh, I just wanted to show you that. It's the, the, they do work together. You, know, you don't need the RF motor to do it. It's just a nice addition. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.